Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich playing as that big old blue blob. Now, nope, not France in EU4, but Qing China in Kaiserreich. So, this isn't exactly where we left off last time, it's pretty close to it. I just made sure that I had a war goal against Russia as well as the Indo-Chinese Union. It is 1945, February 13th, and right now, the Russians are scrambling to get divisions on their front line. Oh, Russia. Oh, Russia. Uh, I'll let you, you know, have a little bit of an update, though. Japan continues to invade. My lands, Korea, they've lost two and a half million. Just by invading. Or attempting to invade. It's gone very poorly for them. Uh, what's next? Russia is doing fairly well against the Third International. Spain has done very well against the Commune of France. You know, Kingdom of Spain. Um, slowly... The small state of the Third International, Hungary, Slovenia, Croatia, has begun to fall against the Russian sphere, really the Russian Empire. So the Third International isn't doing great. Uh, the American Union state won the Civil War against the PSA, and then immediately went to war with New England. Here we long, you're probably going a little bit too fast. And... The independence of the American Union is guaranteed by Cuba. All right, Martin Diaz Tamayo, Tamayo, interesting. So they're at war with each other. Um, Huey Long has no more manpower, so that's not really good. And they're having a recovery from the Civil War, so it probably wasn't a good idea for Huey Long to uh, go to war immediately. I mean, New England isn't that strong. Neither really is Canada. And I'm sure Canada, they're already on scraping the barrel. They have a lot a lot of their divisions already sent over. Probably to Spain, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Maybe not. But regardless, the world's on fire, and that's okay. That's a perfect time for us to go to war with the Russian Empire, who... has no manpower. They might be on extensive conscription, but they have no manpower. Uh, I will, let me address one comment first. Uh, someone said I should liberate Bhutan. Uwu. And maybe I will, maybe in time, but right now, I'm going to be biased here and tell you that my favorite color is blue, so seeing this massive blue blob really makes me happy. Also, let's take a quick look before I forget. Oh, we have almost 20 million manpower too, by the way. Uh, we can integrate Mongolia, but I'll probably integrate them once the war with Russia is over, and I can also go to war with basically what we know as Vietnam. Uh, this war down here is going to last a while just because I'm not really going to be focusing on it too much, so let's go ahead and go to war with these guys first. And they're going to immediately attack us, which I thought would, would happen. We do have a bunch of bombers here, so I'm not really worried about what happens here. Uh, you know what? Both of you. You know what? No, you just do Ling Nan. And let's go to war with Russia at the same time. We're, gonna, we're already in a war against Japan. So why don't we add not one, but two more wars to our plate? Yes. Good. Immediately call everyone in. And now, this is good because it took me 25 days to take the claim state of Tuva. So they took that away from Mongolia. But I got a claim on that, bitch. And I'm taking it. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Did I... Oh, I need to call Mongolia probably, maybe. No, nope, they're already in the war. Uh, please, can you... Please clap, please go. Oh, there you go. They're moving in. We're moving out. Oh, Turkey. Oh, whatever. I don't care. The Turks can, can do whatever. I really don't care about the Turks. They're all just puppet states of Russia anyways. Uh, we gotta make sure, though, that we're not trying to get goods over the seas, because that would be a no bueno move. Albania joined, watch out. Albania joined, watch out. So I am, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, next up, German East Indies. Thank you for your contribution. Now I gotta trade with somebody who's not landlocked, or I can't make planes. I can't make planes because I don't have enough aluminum. You know, oh well, whatever. Um, just finished my little swig of coffee, my Chinese coffee. Uh, what else? There's really no one I can really trade with. I mean, I'll get it from the Indian Empire, but I we have an extreme deficit of aluminum. It's so bad that I'm going to shove this down. I need planes. And I'm also researching some paratroopers as well. I've made light tank twos, or have at least researched them. We need more steel. We need a lot of things. We definitely, definitely, definitely need a lot of things. I can't even make this. I can't even make that. I can barely make fighters. 
That's not good. That's really not ideal. Resource though, there are there's a little bit of aluminum up here, which is good. A little bit of aluminum over here, so that's actually not bad. So guys, we not might not win everywhere, but that's okay. Oh, they have a lot of Russian divisions moving this way, but our Manchuria will forever be ours. And you know what? I might just release Transamir as a puppet. Oh, Light Cruiser, very nice. Just so that. Ooh, convoy's good. We can have them as a Russian kind of puppet state. Oh, come on, man. Uh, can I get steel from anyone else? Yes, Burma. Ah, oh, yes, the good people of Burma. The Burmese people. Great people. At least now they are. I did split um, Liu Menggang's army into two, so that's why I kind of split them up right now. It, could you win here? No? Just be careful, then. And the... And we are actually in a massive deficit of guns because I was trying to produce more more equipment, but it, uh, more divisions. That's why our army is a little bit more flushed out up here, which is pretty good. It's pretty darn good, but uh, it's going to take some time to take out Russia. Now the Third International will probably have less pressure put on them, which is good. So we can have a we basically have a two-front war against Russia. Now obviously we have a lot of territory to get through, and it looks like the Indo-Chinese Union has expanded. How did you expand that way? Not sure how. I didn't know that there was... Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. I'm glad I caught that. That would have been very bad if I did not. Um, what can we do here? Who can attack in this area? Hmm. Could you do fairly well if I told you to attack? In some parts, yes. In some parts, no. We've improved infantry equipment. You guys can stop attacking, and you guys can kind of stay there for now. Uh, just focus south. Or don't focus down there at all. Um, we got this going. We got the paratroopers going as well, which is good. We're going to need those for Japan. Heart attack and piercing sounds pretty good for me. To me. <clears throat> We're going to need more rubber. Which I'm glad we can actually at least make refineries to get more rubber. They're trying to kill us off here. So be it. Now, with these attacks, go ahead and be a little bit more careful. We initially caught the Russians a little bit off guard. They knew I was deploying some soldiers around here, but... Ah, Mexico, alright, you want to fight us? Oh! Ah, these Burmese divisions, nice. Throw them on the Coast Guards. And actually, between this episode and the last, Germany, the German government in exile, actually... Tried to invade India. Northern India. Which I'm actually glad we have a huge chunk of, but whatever. Um, yep, just keep bombing the heck out of their ships. Oh, there's a Russian Navy here as well. Oh. Interesting. But we got plenty of divisions on the front line here. Very nice, very nice, very good. We're doing okay here. We're doing all right. Uh, looks like they don't have a lot of equipment around here, actually. They have plenty of manpower, not enough equipment. Another convoy sunk. Good. Really, my main goal is to just continue pushing against Outer Mongolia. If you guys attacked here, could you win? You might be able to, actually. Just be careful. That's all I request, is that you be careful and you form a front line together. Like with that. Go right on ahead, guys. Go right on ahead. Um. Oh, the, uh, at first I thought it was Japan. Nope, those are Korean divisions. Good. Koreans are here to help. Go ahead and try that. They're attacking us, like, a little crazily. That's okay. Anything else going on? Some attacks are winning, some attacks are not. That's okay. Night vision for more land night attack. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab some more rubber. Advanced rubber processing is going to be very important. I'm going to continue integrating these places. Oh, we can hire American advisors. When removed, we get Joseph Stilwell as a general. <clears throat> the American exiles will arrive to help train our troops in two months' time. A bonus for land doctrine and more army XP. The defeat of the, Ameri the federal forces in the U.S. has cost, <clears throat> or has cast, a great number of former battle-hardened men adrift. One, General Stilwell, has personal connections to Wu and the Zili clique, having served as an American attaché during the 20s and 30s. But offering him an advisory position to him and some of his officers, we can gain the insights of a battle-hardened general. Sylvania has fallen for the second or third time, or at least what I've seen. And we can gain the insights of a battle-hardened general with experience in China to boot. You know what? We don't need him at all. But that's really cool, so I'm going to hire him. That's actually really, really cool. 
Uh, and then I'll integrate Hunan. Good. We gotta keep an eye on our fuel. It's not doing great, but it's not doing terrible. Now, it's not ideal for us to keep attacking when we're losing, but I am of the mindset right now that if I keep attack, oh my god, where do we get the steel from? Uh, keep the steel, keep the steel. I don't need these guys then. Oh, we must have taken the territory that must have had steel in it. Oh, that's so nice. But um, I'm of the mindset that if we can continue to cause more and more enemy casualties, even at expense to us, even for a little bit, I think that's worth it because. It's harder for them to get full strength divisions when they're hurting this that badly. So I'm totally, totally okay with that. Very good. Oh, you guys, please. No, 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 no. This is what what's wrong when it starts lagging hard. Uh we gotta get rid of these rice farmers. They are quite literally rice farmers. And that's okay. You and then you. Can you guys come in here maybe? Um, is Burma in the war? Um, they might be? They should be, yeah. Huh. Oh, I definitely don't want to attack, um, over a river just yet. Go do that. Go do that. I want you three to get up here. That'd be good. That'd be good. Um, keep that guy stationary for now. As long as we win, I don't really care. Wang, do you got anything for us? Nope, no Wang here. Down here. We might be able to do something. Do we have... We've got hills over here, that's fine with me. Uh, down there we've got some more hills, which is actually okay. Looks like we might be successful if we attack that tile. Alright, my drug user general. Can you push? Maybe. That's a definite maybe. They are continuing to attack my lines here for some unknown reason. I'm not really sure why. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Darn it. Ah, oh, I need more Chinese coffee. Oh, well, what are the losses so far? So we've lost a third of a million. Mostly still to India, a little bit to Russia, a little bit, just a tiny bit to Japan. Mexico's almost dead. Uh, third international is not looking great. Anyone else on here? American Union State has lost 36,000. Croatia is in the Russian sphere. Russia. We have not done that many casualties to them. That's not ideal. We've done a lot of casualties to Japan, at least, though. And they continue to navally invade, but they just keep losing soldiers. Oh, gotta love that AI. Alright, so you guys, be a little bit more careful. Because, really, I think we're not exactly winning, but we're not losing. Yeah, we might be losing some of these battles, but whatever. Is it doing any sort of... Is it having an effect on the Third International? And the answer to that is yes. Because Hungary completely capitulated, but they've reformed their front line in Hungary. Uh, Slovenia obviously fell again, but Italy's still holding off fairly well, and they're pushing into the German Union, Union just a little bit more. So I think we're having a tiny effect by diverting soldiers away from the Third International's front with the Russian Empire, Russian Sphere, whatever you call it. It's basically an empire. We are going to cause problems for them, especially if they're already out of manpower. Oh, nice. We, we actually got here. Nice. Good job, guys. Take half of you guys. Go that way. Take half of you guys. Go that way. Make sure they don't move. They go. Take and go. Good. More divisions. Throw you right there. Um, Go right ahead, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. When you can, be careful. It's going to suck attacking around here. I know. We all know. Oh, when you build more refineries, more good stuff like that. We got a little bit more of that steel. That's ideal. Mm, we're building a lot of these. And it's mostly because we can't get aluminum. I'm constantly looking if we can get more and more aluminum. Good, more fuel refining. That actually will help out quite a bit. Uh, fuel refining too. More oil, or fuel per, fuel gain per oil and fuel gain from refineries. Nice. I could use as much fuel as possible because we still are projected to run out. That's nice. Uh, when can you be... Are you organizer? Yeah, you are, but I prefer a skilled staffer to be honest with you. Is anyone a skilled staffer? Actually, we do have a skilled staffer here. Under Wang. Right? Yeah. Oh, but is, he doesn't... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Wang. Actually, I'm going to replace you with Wang. He would prove to be better right now. 
Um, there he is. Just because, look at all those stats he's got. Wang, yeah, do that. And we can become a operator. And an, Oh my goodness, give me logistics. That's going to come in handy. And then offensive, yes, yes, yes. For the love of God, yes. And then replace you with... Han Yu Wen. Croatia's gone. Oh, well, actually. I'm going to divide up this soldier a little bit later. Whatever. I'm just doing that because... Where's that extra army we had? You're six. Really, I could throw both of you under him. There you go. Now we've got a massive army. There you go. Now we can form a really incredible front line. That's going to be an huge front line. Go ahead, tell everyone to hold. Tell everyone to hold, readjust your line, and then begin planning where you need to attack next. Now, so that gives us some more time to think about what we're doing down here as well. Do, do our infantry divisions use logistic companies? I believe they do, but I could be wrong. Yeah, they, they are. <clears throat> and I still haven't put on more artillery. No wonder we're not really winning as much. Wow, we need more infantry equipment. Hmm... Mmm. Do I do this now? I thought I did this earlier. Do I do this now? This is going to cost a ton of artillery. We do get 36 more soft attacks. So I kind of like that. Screw it. Let's do it. We're going to ruin our front lines, but that's okay. That does help our deficit of infantry equipment by like 20,000, roughly 20,000 guns or so. And that's okay. That'll just take a little bit of time for us to get all the artillery pieces out, which we just lost 8,000, which is okay. I mean, that's what they're, used, they're there for. But in... The, the end result will, of course, be more and more soft attack. Oh, they're getting a little bit more manpower back. That's not ideal. But the Third International is doing quite well. The German Union is falling. Communist France is holding. Is holding. Maybe they push back just a wee bit. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, this is good. This is good. Keep it up, Third International. And let's focus a little bit more down here. Cool. These rice farmers, they're going to be a little tricky. A little tricky. Can we win here? Especially if I throw you two divisions in there, because the Mountaineers, or Mountain Divisions, Sultanate of Egypt declared war in Ethiopia. Okay, then. You're only 18 combat width. Wait, what? Since when were you only 18 combat width? Um, I might be using a different Mountaineer Division. Uh, no. No. Anyways, we need to make more guns. And get more aluminum. Uh, that's a case. Drop you by five. Drop you by five as well. That would be bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I don't mind lowering that by three to make more guns. Um, Lower this by five as well. That reduces our need of aluminum just by a wee bit, not by much. Yeah, we're going to have to manually control this. That's okay, though. Could I win here? Now yeah, we're attacking over river. Not ideal. But these guys aren't extremely strong. So that's good. Oh, uh, what do we blow up? Ah, oh, two more destroyers. Nice. Oh, they're attacking us like crazy down here. Or, no, I told you guys to move. We're attacking. Don't worry about that, guys. Just hold. Just hold. Nice, we're winning. Can oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait oh, oh. Um, who, who are you? Wait, who invaded? Uh, I'm not sh Is that Burma? No, is that the Australasian... That might be the Australasian Confederation, actually. Hmm. Wait, can you guys really win? If, if, if it's possible, I don't mind letting you go. You'll win in most... Mm, like, three-fifths out of the places. If you attack, can you win as well? You might be able to. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to. Well, that's okay. Uh, take the Mountaineers. Mountaineers. I don't know why I always call Mountaineers. Uh, you might not be able to win here. But you might. It's always a race to see how long I can keep my field. Nice, we sunk six destroyers there. Very good. You guys, how's the front line looking? We've got a lot of divisions here. He's a level 8 field marshal. That's really good. Um, Union of Britain's doing fairly well against Ireland. That's nice. Uh, Breslau is now the capital. Berlin has fallen. <clears throat> Keep up the pressure. I don't think they can replace their equipment, but then again, neither can I. Oh, they're out of manpower. When did that happen? 
You guys have a lot. You're on, of course, all uh, extensive conscription. No, you're on scraping the barrel. And then extensive conscription. Thank you very much, my friends. Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Um. Good job, Chile. Good job, I guess. Third International is not nowhere near dead yet. You know they're fighting the Autant down there. How is this war going? Wait, is the Uni you're fighting the entire Entente? Including Canada? Yeah. Yet, they're only really fighting over here. Interesting. And they are pushing in just a wee bit. Republican Party. Oh, there's a Kennedy. They got a quarter million manpower. You guys have a little bit. You are mobilizing more, though. Imper an Imperial Presidency. Ooh. More population, stability, war support. Perfect democracy. Nice. That's really cool. Oh, but that looks like a really fun path to take. Mine eyes have seen the glory. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Lost four naval bombers. Lost a couple naval bombers. So be it. Do we have a deficit of naval bombers yet? No, but we will eventually. Alright. Let's see what we can do around here. How many divisions are stacked? Two, and they got a lot of good stuff there. That's not ideal. Um, we're gonna need more air support. We're gonna need even more fuel, too. It should have given us enough time to build up even more infrastructure. Which it looks like it has, which is good. 60%, 100, 20, 40, 60. We'll do that. Keep building up roads and stuff like that. China really is not rich in resources. Whatsoever. Ooh, paratroopers, yes, good. Five. Go ahead and make better mountaineers. Paratroopers, good. I I don't ever use paratroopers. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever do I use them. It's probably a bad idea. I'm going to make them 40 combat width. That's probably a really bad idea. Can I deploy them with this? No. I cannot. Now, I could make them just like one battalion so that it could be like really, uh, really extremely weak, but they could deploy many of them. But we'll try it like this. I mean, if this is a mistake, whatever. I don't really care. Um, I got. M I will have more than enough uh, army XP to change this up if I need to. Logistics. Just give them all the normal good stuff. That's a lot of defense. That's a lot of defense for paratroopers. Holy cow. That's a lot of organization, too. And HP. That's pretty nice. Heart attack is not great. Soft attack's pretty good. Piercing is... Uh, breakthrough? Could be much worse. Go ahead and train, like... Oh, oh, I can only make one of them at a time. That's because I'm using these guys. Cut down on this. Cut down on that. I forgot that they were considered special forces. Nice. Ah, we're winning down here in Southeast Asia. Very good, very good. Losses, probably at least half a million for us now. Yep. We've lost most to the Russians, which kind of sucks. The German Union's not doing well. Japan has lost 2.6 million. We've got off at least a million of these Southeast Asians here. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Um, there's a hole here, though. It's not quite ideal. Excuse me, guys. You guys can probably actually just... You don't need to go that way. Just come down here. And how are we doing? How are we doing? We're winning. I like the winning. Let's let time go on. They're not attacking us over here, which is a little disappointing. We will need more air support, though. That's how you're going to win in Asia. Do this. Attack here is optimal place to attack. Nice. Pavel n did not even know what hit him. That's good. They're still attacking us, and they still invade, but... That's why you let them in. You don't give them a port, and then you make him go kaboom. Nice. Very nice. Hanoi. Oh, and you guys can begin your assault as well now. Oh, look how weak they are. Why are they so weak? What is their template like? Oh, six to eight infantry battalions? That's not much, man. Very good. China, strong. China, super strong. Integrate. Oh, actually, we can probably... Uh, I might actually spend political power to get more guns. Austrian small arms. 2,500. Do that. And then do that. Good. How many men do we get a month? We get 41,000 men a month. That's insane. 
I'm only on service by requirement and total mobilization. So, I mean, that, that's nice, but holy cow, that's a lot. Keep building, guys. We need more fuel. We constantly need more fuel. And we make more rubber at the same time, which is actually really, really nice. Can I trade with anyone yet? No. Fine. So be it. Ah, infantry anti-tank too. Good. Let, uh, I could do... Let's do this, just because I almost never do special forces stuff. But we're going to need more. We're definitely going to need more. Germany's looking pretty good now. Chechia, looking pretty good. Uh, they're still holding. They might be losing a little bit of ground in coming to France. Königsberg, not bad. Ireland, looking a little bit more syndicalist. And, oh, there goes the American Union state. Now they've really gone to war with all of Canada. There goes the German Union. Very nice. <clears throat> Someone's trying to invade us. Oh, and what do we blew up here? Blew up, blow up. Ah, destroyer. And it looks like... Yep, it was the Australasian Confederation who's taken Dalat. Dalat. Oh, another 11 divisions. Actually, I'm probably going to cut down on all these divisions. Just because I can't really support this many more. Oh, thank you. Especially with a huge gun deficit. I don't mind making some more still, but... Six at a time. Yeah, I've got to keep an eye on that. Just got to keep an eye on it. Because that does hurt our ability to wage war. Uh, more rubber sounds nice, but can I do anything else? Let's get some rocketry. Oh, actually. Fighter agility. Naval mission efficiency. Oh my goodness, yes. Let's do that. Good. Throw you right there and take your six divisions. Take six of you guys. Throw you right there. Helps balance things out. Just a wee bit more. Good. Did we make an encirclement? Yes, we did. And go ahead, we've got plenty of these divisions around. Start guarding a bunch of these coastlines. There you go, Saigon, Kanto, Batambang. Oh my gosh, we get so much rubber, I think, if we take all this stuff from Siam. And we're, we're the Entente, so if we get Singapore, that'd be great, actually. Yeah. Uh, oh no, you're German East Indies, dang it. Oh, that's right. You're still alive somehow. Resource-wise, though. We get... A, oh my gosh, that's so much rubber. That's so much rubber. And a little bit of steel. Oh god, I need that steel and rubber. Mostly the steel. Because we actually have more than enough rubber right now. We're doing very well in Southeast Asia, which is quite ideal. Alright, how are we doing up here? A general push would not be in our favor. So, we must think about what we're going to do next. Like attack. Good. Crush their forces. They have 63% strength. And now they have 60... 58 5% goes down. Nice. Uh, coordinated attacks. Smart. Coordinated attacks. Like there. And then you guys will do go right there. And then half of you guys will go right there. Nice. Strength of the Russian Empire. No manpower. Very beautiful. I'm just looking for anywhere we can attack with just a single division group. That's not bad. Um... Take all three of you. You might not win here, actually. I'm willing to risk it, though. <clears throat> so far, not great. They do have a mechanized division. That's interesting. I've not yet seen a mechanized division here yet. We're probably not going to win, actually. So that's okay. Go ahead and stop. Go ahead and stop. That's okay. It's always good to explore new things. Always good. Um, ooh. Send you three that way. Oh, we're attacking across a river. That's really not ideal. But we'll probably be able to win right there. That's nice. Keep melting them. Melt them with our bombs. Oh, Hanoi is completely surrounded. There's three divisions, including two bicycle divisions in there. Very good. Thank you, Hanoi, for playing. Uh, you will probably honestly not be missed. No one will ever know of you or your achievements. And that is okay. Begin attacking immediately. I want to end this episode with the annexation and probably puppeting of Indo-Chinese Union as well as Kingdom of Siam. Oh, we're not going to win everywhere, but that's okay. If we take like 2 million casualties in total, I think that this war against Russia as well as Southeast Asia will be pretty worth it. Pretty darn worth it. Um, You guys can definitely attack there. You guys should be able to win. But, you know what? I guess I'm wrong. Interesting. Why? Eh, whatever. 
How about up here? Can we try this up here? Eighty-nine, ninety. That's looking pretty good. Keep melting them. That's awesome. This is looking pretty good now. Pretty good over there. Keep pushing into them. They can't seem to stop us, which is nice. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, look, there's a small little fleet there. Good. Oh, we suck a carrier! Nice! An experimental carrier hole, but it's still a carrier nonetheless. And that makes me feel pretty darn good about myself now. What's the strength of Japan? A lot of manpower, a couple divisions. They actually don't have a lot. Hmm. If we wanted to attack here, maybe, would it be possible? Yes, it might just be. They only have a single division there. Not bad. They have now 83% strength. Now it's been knocked down to 80. It's not that much of a difference. Yeah, good. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, someone's attacking here. What the heck? Uh, and someone's really invading us in Ling Nun. Come on, guys. Keep it up. They can't keep up the... Excuse me, the casualties. I guess they did raise your conscription level, though. Forceful industrialization. Ooh, Bangkok. Can we take Bangkok? That sounds like fun. No, we cannot take Bangkok. That is disappointing. Alright. Good. Nice. 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 Oh, actually, what's going on here? Oh, they have more divisions that are going to die. You can't necessarily win here. Just go ahead and hold them. I mean, they're going to starve out anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Mm. Ula, I doubt we can take this. I think we've already tried this. But from this many angles, maybe not. Nice, they have a militia division that's really weak. Oh, look how... They, they lost 8 strength. Almost immediately. That's why I hate militia divisions. They're just too weak. Too weak, man. Can't win there. Give them a little bit more strength. These guys are going to die anyways. Oh, this is looking so good. Bangkok is surrounded as it should be. Same as comparatively not lost that many guys. Fawn, you're an infantry expert. That's good. Does anyone else have upgrades? Ma... Become an offensive type of guy. No, no one else. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure. Whatever. <clears throat> In time, they'll fall soon enough. That's good. Over here. Russia's doing okay, I think, in Scandinavia. Definitely over here. Things have maybe slowed down just a little bit. It is still only July 1945. The game is running a wee bit slow. Just a wee bit. Uh, guns. Oh, wow. We definitely need more guns. So, I'm actually going to buy a few more. It's only 2,500, but it's better than nothing. Do that, do that. Last couple more naval bombers, that's not ideal. <clears throat> and when we get down here, we will kick up the Australasian Confederation, because they are in the Entente, and we don't like the Entente. No, we don't. Keep up pressure on Bangkok. Do not give them time to organize. And hurry up and take out these guys down here. That's just getting a little ridiculous. More attack. Just just to keep attacking. Keep attacking. Keep making them push themselves back. Yeah, we're not going to win in Bangkok. That's kind of disappointing. And Kur Kurdistan? Alright then. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to keep going like that. That's going to be annoying. Ah, an encirclement. And what is this? Sata hip. Interesting, interesting. Good. Kick him out. Good. And at least we didn't lose anything. 
At least right now we have all of Outer Manchuria. That's kind of nice. Up attack there. Next, you will all attack here. Send another guy here as well. So I'm happy you guys to come up this way then. Nice. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we're not really moving too much, which kind of is unfortunate, but whatever. Once we're done with our war down in Southeast Asia, we can definitely start stockpiling more guns. That's going to be important. Oh, look at that. That infantry division, its organization gets so low. Oh, this is the one with mechanized, which we cannot... Oh, a little bit. Three out of our... Di eight of three out of eight divisions can pierce them. Oh, it looks like we're getting attacked in Northern India, too. Oh, hello, Germany. How are you doing? Yeah, I would, I would stick to Africa, guys. You don't need to open up a new front in India, but you know what? You do you. Oh, they're almost, they're almost gone. That's nice. How much further until they're gone? That's a good question to ask. These guys are holding on for dear life. Um, Indo-Chinese Union is almost gone. Come on, guys. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Keep attacking. Their strength is... Pretty good. Their organization is pretty garbo, though. And actually, you know what? Put more bombers here. Get the bombers in Bangkok. Keep nailing them. Good. Yeah, we're doing okay-ish here. You have a port, which isn't ideal. That'll come down in a few minutes. That's nice going on over here? Not much, not much. We want to attack this direction. Take all but one. Attack here. You guys attack here. And then you, take half of you, attack there. You should be able to win, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Continue to attack this direction so that you can move up here. Good. Half of you guys move over here. Siam really doesn't like to give up, which is kind of unfortunate. Go ahead and move in. These guys are probably going to starve for supplies if they're not already. Uh, they took Saigon. I'm really surprised the Indo-Chinese Union has not given up yet. Very, very surprised. I really hate Bangkok because they refuse to fall for some reason. Siam is taking so long for some reason as well. For the motherland. Ah, there you go. That's why. I'm pretty sure I told you to be careful. Well, we're going to keep trying it then. Bangkok needs to fall. Do we have any other divisions? we got plenty of fighters. We don't have a lot of good bombers. We have some bombers. They're not great. Keep putting on more bombers, though. Bomb them into submission. Like, I don't understand. They have 14 divisions in there. They can't get that much more organization or strength. Yeah, I know it's the capital, but that doesn't make any sense. Alright, you guys. These guys are all completely surrounded. Just push in. End them. You guys push in. End them. You guys push in. End them. Good. You guys. Surround Bangkok. Oh, Korea. Um, oh no, do I have a deficit? No, I have a deficit of a support equipment. That's really not good. I mean, how am I supposed to get that much aluminum? There's no way I can get that much aluminum at all. Uh, oh, there goes Bar Barcelona has fallen? To who? Union of Britain, oh my goodness. Oh, Paris fell, that's not good. Oh, this war against Russia is not going, eh, not going great. But I told you to be careful. Could you attack and be relatively successful? In some areas, yes. And that's good. Keep doing that. Yeah, we're going to take quite a few losses. Whatever. There is no reward if you don't take a risk, so... Good. All of Southeast Asia is looking pretty darn nice now. Come on. At least capitulate the Indo-Chinese Union before we give up here. For the day. Good. Completely surrounded. Bangkok just refuses to give up. Give me a little bit more time and I will take them out. Very good. Come on. Come on. Good. Crush these fellows. How how are they not capitulated yet? Is there, okay. They are not going to capitulate. 
Seriously, I've taken every single tile. Please, okay. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. So, I did say I would puppet them, so I will take all states and then... End my turn. And then take all states and end my turn. Very nice. And I do want to do the peace deal before we leave. Good. And make sure we got... Regarding all those areas, guys, that'll be extremely important. You know what? We have plenty enough... Get me out of this screen. Get me out of this. What the heck? Get me out of this. Good. Thank God. Um, we have plenty enough generals already. Plenty enough divisions. You're level 4, 5, 6, 4. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you just because you're a substance abuser. I don't like that. So, I could move these somewhere else. I don't really care. That saves on guns. That saves on equipment. Infantry stuff. You know. Um, do the same for this guy. Why not? I don't need that many more armies. I will keep some guys down here. That'll be good. Uh... Really, I don't have those extra factories. Anyways, throw you... I guess right... Oh, no, that's not good. The Communist France has fallen. All right, game. Stop lagging so hard, please. For the love of God, please stop lagging. Um, you guys are going to do that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and release them. The fate of S Indochina. Liberate them. I'm going to liberate a united China. And then I will get the resources that we need. Ah, uh, there we go. Very good. However, we do have historical Chinese claims on Tonkin and Dongbak, so thank you very much, my puppet. Thank you very much. That's why I let you take everything else. Next up, ooh, who are you led by? Truong Tu An. All right, cool. And let's do the fate of Siam. Military occupation. Loses core. The Republic? We don't believe in republics here. Well, maybe a little bit, but we really believe in the Empire. A Republican Empire? Hmm. And you are now led by... Mr. Smile, with the K-R. Cool. Let's grab some more resources if we can from them. No. Oh, that hurts my heart. Oh, Germany to Asia, though. Thank you for playing. Anyways, guys, we've gone on long enough in this video. So, we went to war. We started a two-front war. And, well, we've ended one of them already. That's pretty great. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we begin to push very heavily, or at least attempt to push very heavily, into the Russian Empire. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you all have a great, great day.